everybody, welcome to Otaku Saga. I'm Zero. Uh, this, yeah, this is mine. <laughs> this is totally yours. I'm just like, mm, I'm blah, blah. my app. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Otaku Saga, I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero, and today in Anime Reaction, watch the first episode of the second season of... <laughs> Shingeki no Kyojin. That was pretty smooth. We should do that, like we did for One Punch Man. Indeed. If you want to check out our reaction to the first episode of the second season of Shingeki no Kyojin, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga and don't forget to like and share our videos. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. So just first mm -hmm. out, I want to say mm -hmm. here they mm -hmm. skipped over like 10 chapters. <laughs> <laughs> 10? They, they skipped over a ton. An absolute ton. And he captured a Beast Titan real quick. Yeah. Well, I mean, they they did, you know, they did capture Annie at the end of the first season, but see ya, uh, see ya, Fanta, see ya, Fanta. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> they, you know, they they kind of actually, I thought that they covered the bit with the uh, priest from the Wall Cult uh, pretty well, as far as like. Uh, Hanjay's uh, confrontation with him. Oh, okay. But they skipped over, like, almost everything after that until they met the Beast Titan. Or a good load before that. I mean, introducing the... Like, the I think that there cool. was... I think that there was a lot of... Uh, yeah, yeah, Hamster. They went... They skipped straight ahead to the Beast Titan. Like, completely to the Beast Titan. Just... There it is. Right there. Yeah. Literally... Like it was okay. <laughs> let's have the confrontation between Hanjay and the and the priest from the Wall Cult, and then bam, bam. Beast but Titan. so, as 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 Hamster Jojo Master said, um, I mean there there's a possibility that we may get a flashback. But I think in order time, to make the story make sense, you'd need a flashback because. I'm not trying to spoil too much, but there is a character that is involved with the wall wall cult mm. that the priest from the wall cult pointed out two characters that are high up in the recon battalion that they need to go talk to, and that person is in... Yes, yeah. That person is in the 104th Training Battalion, and now in the Recon Corps, and they need to go talk to that person. They didn't cover any of that in this episode, so I think at some point they're not, they're going to need to go back and be like, hey, by the way, this person is totally involved, and you should probably ask her what's going on. Okay, so before we continue on any further into the recap or review of the of the episode, I do want to point out that I myself am on probably the second encounter of the Beast Titan. Second or second or I, I think that second or third. I do know that there. I don't there know are, if I've actually gotten that far yet. I I just uh, I I got to the part where. Spoiler, 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 spoiler. Okay, I have, I have And Aaron gets owned. Yes, Aaron, Aaron gets owned. Fucking spoilers. Oh my god, fucking spoilers. I have watched a good number of the manga when it was being released as the anime. So, wherever the anime was almost a season after, um, it's, it's, its original release is about where I'm at in the in the manga. I haven't watched anything further because I end up getting caught up in other things. And let's just put it this way: I learned about the people who transform in the Titans, and that's that's about it. Yes. Without going too far, I know that it. there is a plethora of people who turn into Titans. I'm not going to spoiler who. I'm not going to spoiler how they do it and stuff like that, but. I definitely, definitely know a little bit more than what we know in the in the anime series currently. Mm. Yeah. Um, obviously, I don't think DK, you've got Nate. <laughs> this is y'all series. <laughs> 
I'll just leave it at that. Like most of the discussion points and everything, that's going to come from you two on this series because, as I mentioned at the beginning of the reaction, I've only really seen up to where Aaron transforms into a Titan for the first time. So yeah. like right after his court martial. Um. So, this is y'all's show here. I do have to say that the Beast Titan was a lot more creepy in the anime than he was in the manga. Oh my God! Yes. The, the one that was in the manga... I, f- I feel that that scene worked a lot better in the anime than it did in the manga. Oh my god, definitely. Like, in the manga, it felt more like a gorilla... Like, I, I'm not exactly sure how to put it. It's a malicious gorilla, but... Who talks? A killer gorilla, talks. if you will. But in in the anime, it was a like extremely like a, like a huge Sasquatch. deranged, like you know, kind of yes. like a Sasquatch. It, it's it's one of those Smoking uncanny valleys <laughs> that you're just like, what the fuck is this dude? And it's so it made, it made more sense. It made more sense that the soldier guy couldn't like form a coherent thought to answer back to it. Yeah, I, and it was. It it really made sense in terms of in terms of what was going on in the context. I love the fact that they actually changed the art just a just a tiny tiny bit to make it feel more surreal or more unnatural to to kind of to kind of put that perspective on the character that's involved here. I mean, obviously the character involved is going to die, but hmm. I, he, it was still one of those, like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. And as I expressed at the end of the episode, I'm really hoping that they don't skip over both... Um, Sasha's visit to her hometown and Connie's visit to his hometown because both of those I feel are really important for those characters and both of those characters didn't really get that much character development in the first season so I'm hoping that they don't skip over either of those bits well next week's episode appears to be a Sasha focus episode about the journey to her hometown from the we definitely see like her her wielding a bow and her just getting out and going gun ho up up and no. Everyone's business. And the episode title for next week is called I'm Home. So yeah. take that as you will. Yeah. I, I, like I said, I'm just hoping that they don't skip over any of that because it was really well done in the manga. Mm. And I felt that it really added a lot to both of those characters. Well, like, I, I really like Sasha anyway. Like, you know, potato girl. Potato girl. Potato girl. But um, the the manga chapters that specifically focused on Welcome her, I, I felt that were really. Oh, welcome home. Welcome home was the title. I thought it was Thank called, you. Thank uh, you. I thought it was called I Home. I'm home in the preview. Anyway. Anyway. One of those two. Chew you go. So. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there there really wasn't a lot to talk about with this one. Um, if you want to get really deep into the lore of the wall, um, that does come, that should come within a couple episodes or a, a few episodes where we get kind of this backstory between um, what what was the glasses girl's name? Hanji. Hanji. Con- and technically, we don't know if Hanji is a girl or a guy well, because the the manga author is not specific. the The manga author is not specific as to the sex of several characters in the series. <laughs> yeah, but Hanji, oh my god! Uh, but with Hanji, epic trolling. If I'm it's just a trap. saying, you know. But if you if you really want to get into like the lore of the wall, that should be coming up soon. Hmm. Um, I'm hoping it comes up soon because I feel that that's a very major part of this this area of the manga. Yeah. And that, if they end up skimming was. over it, I'm probably going to be pissed. Yep. Hmm. Um, I'm not exactly sure where this season is going to end off because I think that. Given given where season two starts off at, um, <laughs> it, it almost starts off exactly where I left off in the manga. <laughs> also, keep in mind that this season is only twelve to thirteen. Episodes. 
Genesis. Yeah. Ah, so like, it, it was announced core. that it's only going to be one core. Okay. So, so if there is... Which is kind of disappointing, actually. And unusual. If there Especially is a... Especially if your series is popular. Yeah. If there is a flashback, then there should be a flashback to a more uh, more detailed look at what's going on in the wall. Um, if there is a... a I almost feel like they just kind of decided to skip forward in this episode so that they'd have more action. Because if they went with what should have been in this episode based off of what, what was in the manga, then there would have been a lot less action in this episode. How was the opening? Not nearly as great as the last two. Oh, God. The yeah, op- it wasn't as good as the second opening for the first season, which was nowhere near as good as the first opening. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like it's, it's, it's sequelitis it's, from Link Horizon. It's I'm afraid. literally, it's literally so iconic that, like, in the reaction, we're like, da, 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 you, da, in da, several da, episodes of anime da, reaction da, da, since da, the beginning. Da. You know, we've hummed out the first bars of <laughs> No Yumiya. Yeah, so, I mean, it is. Now. It is. It is it, at this point an iconic. Portion of Otaku Saga. It's, I mean, that, I mean, Gurren no Yumi is one of the most iconic themes of anime, period. Period. And period dot now. So it's an established yeah. classic. Unfortunately, the opening to season two. Uh, Junyo no Subasa. It is not, it, it, it's probably not going to live up to that, to that standpoint. Oh, no, no, okay. There is, there is no way, shape, or form that the opening is not going to stand up to that point. Uh, Marak, wait until we release the reaction to this episode, and you'll see exactly what I thought about the ending. <laughs> yeah. It was written on my face. It was written <laughs> on my on my chest. It I was written have... on the table in front of me. It might as well have been written on your forehead in Sharpie. Right. He doesn't. Unfortunately, he's wearing a hat, but... That the, the ending was... Oh. I was very clear on what I felt about the actual ending song itself. The ending animation was interesting. but uh. It reminded me of the third impact scene from End of Evangelion. You see the world literally ending, but I mean, just spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, and then you hear Come Stories Are Told in the background. It's so cheery and bluesy. It's just, what the fuck is this shit? It's, the juxtaposition is absolutely ridiculous. It's like that. I can definitely tell where Mayrock is coming from, that it is good by any means, but it, it's it's acceptable in terms of by itself. By itself, it is entirely acceptable. Yeah, but imagine with those visuals. However, if it wasn't for the fact that the the first season had such an iconic OST. I mean, you're the, it's really the hard opening. To that up. Let's be honest. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, I have the opening and endings for Attack on Titan on my phone, and I listen to it on almost a constant basis. So I I am like that's that's something that's synonymous to Otaku Saga. We're we're always up up to joking about. Uh, the 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 Jaeger of the opening for season one just it's it's one of the jokes. Speaking right? of Jaeger, have you had some lately? <laughs> nope, mine's Jack. Ah, okay, good man. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I liked it. I just um, I did actually like those chapters that they skipped over. So. I'm hoping that they kind of bring that back around for the later episodes. Mm. I think they probably just skipped over it for the time being because of getting to action. Mm. I because this, this, agree. this is technically a shonen series, so they need to have some action to grip the audience. You gotta have some action. You gotta introduce an, your antagonist, and I gotta say, you know, coming from, uh, from my perspective as someone who's not really balls deep into the story. <clears throat> Beast Titan is fucking awesome. Beast Titan oh is my fucking god, fucking scary. Beast oh. Titan's a boss. He is just, a beast after all. He, yeah, he's a beast. Oh Full god. on beast mode. And just, and I do just have to point out the precision on picking up somebody's tiny t- ass maneuver gear right? off of their back without harming that person. Just mm, boss, fucking boss. 
Just fucking A class, A class plus boss. <laughs> Let's see, yeah. He shows, you know, shows, uh. Okay, you know, uh, tactile dexterity, you know, with that. Shows signs of emotional intelligence, being able to read, you know, being able to basically read a person. Being able to command titans. Good god, he's like the apex of evolution. This is gonna be really fun for our main cast of characters to go Let's up against. Let's just say that the season should start getting into um, where the Titans came from and why they're around. Right. I, I guess I kind of uh, envisioned that from the uh, visuals in the opening sequence where you show a bunch of animals that could be classified as apex predators within their ecosystems. Yeah. So. So in go. terms of like, I'm for me, um, for me, I think that I'm going to definitely, definitely go past where I am at in the manga in this series. And that's a good thing for me because I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be looking ahead at, oh yeah, this happened. Oh yeah, this happened. You know, I'm, I'm going to be like halfway through this series and it's going to be new content for me. So, Pretty much. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Which is a good thing for me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I think we should go ahead and end it here. I think yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. So let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. But that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you next time. time. And go ahead and click on my face to go to our most recent Otaku Saga Talks. Click on my face to go to Otaku Saga Gaming, our gaming channel. And click on the waifu or Koro Sensei to subscribe to Otaku Saga. And if you'd like to help support us, please, please, please go ahead and check out our Patreon page.